to a new episode of Bubba and the Beard. I'm Bubba. I'm the Beard. What do we got today? Today we have larceny. It John E. Fitzgerald. John E. Fitzgerald. This guy had the keys to the Rick houses. He had the keys way back in the day. And he went and got the, the best of he the best. He went and got him some. He went and got him some. <laughs> the best of the best. Yeah, I worked that in there. He had the keys and he went in. That's why there's a there's a key, uh, the keyhole in the front of this thing. 1870, John Fitzgerald. He would go in and grab a little snicker of the, the stuff. Now That's it's, why it's called larceny. He technically stole it, but... Um, distilled and bottled by Old Fitzgerald Distillery, but in reality... Heaven Hill. Heaven Hill, which is my favorite distillery. They are the only ones, right, that do... Uh, they do all forms of whiskey, bourbon, rye, corn, and wheat. Which, this is a weeder. It's wheat. Uh, weeders, uh, typically corn, barley, rye is the general mash. Yep. 51% uh, corn, you know, 28% uh, barley, and then the rest is usually rye. Wheat takes the place of the rye. I believe there is still some rye in this mash, but it's, it's a, uh, there's more wheat. Um, according to their website, it's aged between 6 and 12 years at high storage and is bottled at 92 proof 46 ABV. That's right. Um, high storage, so upper, upper, upper tier, upper tier and, little warmer. Yep. A little, little warmer up there. So when we say upper tier, it means like the building, they have different where you know places where they warehouse the barrels. What are they? There's got to be. I, I, we should probably go to a distillery and ask. The sh shelves? I mean. Well, they move the. the they also move the barrels around. Yeah. Well, yeah. the master distiller uh, happens to be Mr. Potter. I believe his name is Denny. Denny. Denny Potter is the master distiller here uh, for this particular bourbon. Emeritus was before him. Uh, Parker Beam. And Parker Beam just passed away the, uh, this year, and rest his soul. Um, I was very sad to hear that Parker Beam had passed away, uh, in relation to the Beam family. Denny Harper is Potter is or Denny Harper, Denny Potter is Harry Potter's dad. Yeah, he's a magician. Yeah, doing the magic of uh, Heaven Hill. So Go Google it, you'll find out. Uh, so platform nine and a half. Now, what's Really, uh, one of the best things about this is it's not only very good, but it's $28. This could be a daily driver for yes. people who are on a budget, who happen to like bourbon, who yes. want to have a, a, a wheat, especially a sweeter, a sweeter weeder. It, it, yeah, wheat, weeders are typically, we've talked about rye in past videos, rye being usually a little spicier, um, more herbal notes. Weeders are typically a little bit sweeter, a little more brown sugar um, flavor, a little sometimes molasses or uh, caramel toffee, yep. um, which is neat nose notes. Which is neat nose notes. I have honey, honey, <laughs> like a lot of honey, I, I and dark honey too. Save the bees. Mm-hmm. And. You uh, really weird, secondary to honey. Yeah. So I've got probably five notes I got on my nose. My first note was oak. My second note was cherries. Hmm. Then vanilla. I and then I got cherry. the walnut. That, that taste of walnut, cinnamon. It's not too bitey on the nostrils as some other ninety plus proofs. This is a 92 proof. I don't know if we said that. 46% ABV, did we say Yeah, that? we did. We did. Well, he but we did. I'm a little behind, but... Well, here, here's my... Here's... I have all the all the typicals from a weeder. I have honey, caramel toffee, not much nose burn, especially, you know, it is over 90, um, and crushed pecans. But like I, like I was saying, the second note that I got, I get brown paper bag, like from the grocery store. Oh, yeah. Do you like get when, it? When you when you when you, when you whip it open, <laughs> yeah, and it puffs in your mouth. Do you get that at all? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. I, no. I don't get a brown paper bag, but I do know the smell of it. Maybe it's maybe even the way in the back end if I get it. 
I really like when I smell something or taste something and taste something that I haven't. And I never got a brown paper bag before. So that was kind of neat for me. I think he wanted to smell a brown paper bag. Well, who's sitting around going, oh, I hope this smells I think maybe like a brown when he first, bag. I think when he first drank this, he opened a brown paper bag. Have you already been tasting? Nope, but I'm going to. Let's do it. That's so smooth. It doesn't oh. bite me. It's just, I got that oak right off the, the front end. Tobacco. It was Ooh. sweet and spicy. I got the sweet and spicy. It has a light, little bite to it in that first sip. Yep. But it's not too bitey. It's, you know, I almost don't want to add water, you know, for this. No. It's a little higher proof, and I, I would add some water, but I'm not going I wouldn't. I, I, I'm get so I sweet put. sweet cherry is what I get. Mango. What I, what I like, yeah, I can see mango. What I like about it is, uh. It's, it's got a thinner mouthfeel initially, but once it goes down, it just hangs around, chills out, plays with the back of my tongue, <laughs> dances a little. Uh, tasting notes, I have pepper effervescence, uh, clean, hints of cinnamon, and in big, bold letters, little cinnamon heart candies. Mm. The other thing we didn't say about this, this is an NAS. It is NAS. Non-age statement. But we did say it's a 12 to 15 year. No, 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 6 to 12. They do say on their website that it is 6 to 12. I don't think it says it on the bottle at all. No. It does not. But that's okay. Uh, they're, they're, they're telling us on the website, so. Um, scoring. Oh, I wanted to say one thing. Oh. I actually watched a review on Larceny. Uh, Whiskey Blooded uh, did a review on this, and he said his notes, he, he tasted, uh, it was nutty, spice, cinnamon, caramel, and he said his taste, his first taste that he got was a Snickers bar, which is kind of cool. He had some toffee, chocolate, uh, it was... I can see that. Toasted heat burn. Some oh. nougat. Some nougat. Yeah. Happy peanut sore over chocolate covered waterfalls <laughs> and kept... Oh wait, no, is that right? And waterfalls of caramel, prancing well, get nougat. Out. Get Pran out! Come on, prancing. I don't know it. Come on, yes, prancing nougat in the meadow sings a song of satisfaction to the world. <laughs> All right, score the world. Um, let's see. My score was a ninety-four on this bad boy. Really? Yes, Heaven Hill. I'm telling you, it's my favorite. Come on, man. Parker Bean. Yeah. My buddy Denny Potter. He's a magician. Everyone knows I like Buffalo Trace, but Heaven Hill is right there. What 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 do you think he was in he wasn't in Slytherin? Um I, I'm going high too. I'm I'm really happy. What was your score when you when you scored it? Ninety. Ninety? That's yeah. a pretty high score for you. Yeah. Um and 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 for it to be twenty eight dollars. <laughs> And be a ninety, to me, uh, I will. I can almost guarantee you there will never not be a bottle of Larceny in my collection. Twenty eight bucks? Are you kidding me? Yeah. And I, Very, it's, I've seen it's it. a steal. Take I, it. And in, Buy two, put one back, and we'll save it for like five years. And in and in different states, I've seen it cheaper. Then drink it. Cheaper. I mean, Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania is a little high, I think. I don't know, maybe. But I've seen it cheaper in other states. Got anything else for the larceny? Um, I dig it. I like the story behind it. I like um, the process that it's distilled. Yep. Those those guys down in Kentucky, you know, it's well, bourbon. They all know what they're doing. They all know what they're doing. Even the low end stuff is, is coming up, and mm -hmm. they're, they're they're it's a it's a competitive a very competitive market. Yep. And you know, there's a marketing way. I'm actually it. happy. I'm happy that weeders, you know, the Pappies are weeders, and you know, the Wellers are weeders. Um, I love weeders, um, but it seems like lately he said he loves wieners. I did not. Lately, it seems like rye has been the new fad. You know what I mean? Like a lot of people are getting into rye as 
myself included. But um, Rise, Rise making a big comeback. I mean, you know, when they what did they say? Well, in the eighties, Rise. That's why the rye bottles sat around. No, no, a lot of people were drinking mm-hmm. early '90s, so people started drinking them again, and then it kind of fell off. It's like it's like a stock market. Yeah, I'm just glad we have a weeder that's price points perfect. Yeah, and it's damn good. Very good. Yeah, good scores. Um, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, to our poop 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 channel. Yeah. Like. Like us on Facebook. Whatevs. Like, like, Whatevs. Yeah, you don't yeah, have to. You, you don't, don't, have, don't to. have to. Yes, you do. <laughs> anyways. He always, you hate I, when I say that. Yeah, stop know. saying anyway. <laughs> or, uh, Should or I say, me. so. Say, listen, subscribe, like, share. If you can drink it, we'll review it. Terbasics. It's Terbasics. Wait, let's say it right. This is like review 10 and you can't get it right? Well, you know, I like to add the comedy. Let's just say turtle sex. Turtle sex. No offense.